Hello everyone and today I am going to go through the steps of creating a Dutch pour. We are going to be making butterfly wing pours here. This right here is designed to kind of emulate and was inspired by the red spotted purple butterfly. What you are going to need to make your Dutch pour is your canvas. I chose these long skinny ones because I think they'll look great to become butterfly wings. You will need push pins, some sort of newspaper or tarp to put down. This is a very messy, messy project. You will need masking tape, some stirrers, water, your paint, and the higher quality acrylic you can get, the better this is going to turn out, but we got to start on a budget, right? You will need a straw and cups to pour your paste. Technically, you don't need any sort of floral or silicone. I am going to use a marbling medium here just for the heck of it, but you can do this just with acrylic and water. I want to protect the bottom of my piece. So I'm going to take my tape, flip my canvas over, and I'm just going to tape along the bottom here. Now I'm going to take my push pins and stick them into the corners of these wooden frames here to help lift it off the ground and make it look pin. Ta-da! Now you have little feet. And then I can set this here. You can even see how off balance it is, so I'm going to just push a little. I want those feet not to rock. to create a butterfly series that mimics the wings of butterflies and shows kind of the unique structure of these amazing insects. So for that, I need to select my colors. I'm going to do a monarch butterfly first. So I'm choosing an orange, a metallic -y bronze, white, and black. Those are gonna be the colors that I use. In looking at a monarch butterfly wing, I can see that they are a majority of the orange color with then fine lines of black. And then at the very outer edges, you have those white dots. So in my pore here, I'm going to want to mimic the natural world. We're gonna do that by starting with orange. So we take our orange base, and you put it in a cup. It's going to be a lot. And now I'm going to add just a bit of water. You want this to be a nice fluid sort of feel and just a smidgen of my marbling medium. When you're happy with the consistency, you can start to pour. And you're going to repeat this step with the various colors that you want to use. Because I want a lot of orange in this piece, that's going to be my main color. Then we're going to add li little bits of white, bronze, and black. Well, this is very flat and I've used my push pins to kind of elevate my canvas a little, I am going to start to tilt.
Now I can use my straw to blow on it and create some patterns and some cells. So I can see that I'm missing a spot right there. But you definitely want to take a look at your entire piece. Now, to make this look more like a monarch butterfly wing, I want more of these like lines of black that go through the piece and more of these splotches of white at the top. So I'm going to continue pouring to make it look more similar. Now for this one, I want it to look like a red spotted purple. So, kind of contrary to the name, there's not really any purple in this. It's going to be very similar to the Monarch, um, but with some blue this time. Much more black in color. Now, the only thing left to do once you're done with your piece is to sit and wait, let it dry. Keep in mind that it can take some time because it's not brush strokes, right? You poured a lot of paint on. So you want to let this sit and dry for a good amount of time before you try to touch it or manipulate it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little video explanation of paint pours or want to stay tuned with what the Art of Ecology is doing, you can subscribe here and always be up to date with the newest videos that come out and all of the art goodness and the ecology goodness here with the Art of Ecology.